Hello again everyone, Jeff Pirashad for Swish 710 Bowling here with another ball review and this is going to be the first Brunswick ball review that I've ever done on this channel. This is for the Brunswick Quantum Evo Hybrid, uh, a hybrid version of the Quantum Evo, Quantum Evo Pearl. Uh, this ball has an RG of 2.51, differential of 0.051, and an intermediate differential of 0.018. And let me tell you something, this ball is dull. Let me tell you, out of the box, lots of surface. Uh, but we'll get to that a, a little later on. Um, you can see I laid this ball out 75 by 4 and 3 eighths by 35. It puts the pin above my ring finger and the mass bias almost pretty much inside the thumb hole. So this is the final version of what the ball looked like when I drilled it. So let's go out to the lanes and see how it was. Now, these are the first shots I threw. No warm-ups at all. And you can see this thing picks up. Like I said, it's really dull out of the box. So uh, I, it was a little duller than I thought. It, it hooked a little earlier than I thought it was. So I moved a little into the oil. Uh, I'm bowling at Green Acres Bowl down here in South Florida in uh, Palm Beach County. And it's a pretty heavy oil house shot uh, in the middle. I know some bowlers in my league have complained that there's just too much oil for them. But this thing just handles it. And it handles it pretty easily. Um, the surface, like I said, there, there's a lot of surface on this ball. But I noticed as I was throwing it, it lane shined up a bit. Um, I bowled maybe 20 shots uh, in this video. I didn't cut any of them. So you can see every shot I threw. And I just move a little in, a little in, a little in. And finally, I get to where the ball just doesn't pick up as early. This thing needs oil out of the box. So if that's just too dull for you, don't be afraid to change the surface. Um, now you can see I'm, I'm moving in, but I'm still getting a decent amount of entry angle. I left a blower seven. There's a stone nine. So this ball picks up. It revs up good in the back end. So now I moved a little more in. And uh, you can see I'm actually throwing a decent speed too. And finally the ball's maybe a little light. Uh, now this one I pulled into the oil and I stone eight. Uh, shout out to Randy Peterson. So, but you can see that this ball revs up, it picks up the mid lane, and it's very continuous. I threw 20 shots here, and I think maybe I left two flat tens, if that. Um, but you can see seven pin, nine pin, eight pin. Uh, the strikes are generally pretty powerful. Uh, you see the message I threw before, that one snaps out the 10. Uh, so I, I like this ball a lot. It, it was, like I said, this is the first Brunswick ball I reviewed in, in quite some time. Uh, maybe ever, I, I think. I don't think I've actually done one of these videos uh, for a Brunswick ball yet. But I did used to have a couple of Quantums. Um, I had one of the Helixes. Uh, the, I think it was the double Helix, the red and blue one. I had the Navy Quantum, which I loved. And I had a Jade Tour Quantum. So I was really excited to throw this core again. And with this updated cover stock, it really brings out what the core is capable of, I thought. Uh, this ball was really good. I'm, I used it in a tournament in the weekend after I shot this video. And strangely enough, I used it on a 37-foot pattern playing the first arrow. Uh, because there was just a lot of volume out there, but that's where the shot was. Because everything inside of that just picked up too early. And this ball gave me a nice, continuous, smooth, predictable reaction. It revved up really good. And I bought a couple of good games with this ball while it was in play. So I like the versatility of it. And I think that's really important, especially when you get these high-powered, uh, big hook monster balls. Uh, you need them to have some versatility to them. Uh, if they only do one thing, like if they only hook at the arrows, I mean, that's going to be good when you see that kind of a shape. But uh, overall, I like what this ball gave me, and I'm definitely going to be adding it to the higher end of my arsenal for leagues and tournaments. So uh, until next time, see you guys all later.